All right, good afternoon everybody, it's Jay again. So today we are going to be talking about guamachil. Okay, and I know I probably pronounced that completely wrong. So I'm gonna zoom in on the tag here. Okay, it's called by a bunch of different names. Um, it's got cool names. It's called, I think it goes by Pink Tamarind, and I think it also goes by Madras Thorn, which is a really, really cool name. And the reason it's named that is because of the thorns on this tree. I mean, this thing has some killer, killer thorns. Look at those things. And if they break off in your finger, <laughs> they go septic. Like, they're pretty nasty, uh, nasty trees as far as the thorns go. But, I mean, they offer really good protection for things you want to keep people out of. I mean, for instance, I'm growing this right up at the house with these other guys. And... Over a window, so it's the it's going to be the security system for this window more or less because you're just not going to go through this tree eventually <laughs> to get into the house because of those thorns. So this is a this is a beautiful tree and it's gotten quite large. I didn't really expect it to get this big that quick. I mean I don't know why everything else does that around here. So he has already reached the top of the house, the awning, the overhang here, which is about, I don't know, maybe nine feet. And he is just growing like crazy. And I've noticed since it's gotten hotter, this is like a Barbados cherry, the hotter it gets, the faster these grow. I mean, this thing is just exploding with new growth. So yeah, like I said, I've got this right up against the house. He is maybe, let's see here maybe a foot away maybe eight inches away from the house but i've got him planted correctly so i've got him welled up just like the rest of these guys and i've got him planted below grade just like the rest so see now the root system will go underneath the house and it'll never come back up and i'm going to keep this tree uh pruned so it's going to keep the root system below small i mean it's the roots can't exceed the canopy so they're always going to be size the same so if you keep working on pruning the top part of the tree it's going to inherently prune the root system on the tree too the roots will just get fatter but if you've sent them deep already then they can get fatter who cares it's they're not going to be surface level where they're going to crack the foundation of the house okay so that's why i'm not worried about putting these right up against the house in this guava over here, he's probably closer. It's just you have to plant them correctly and then force them to do what you want. So water deeply, and the roots are gonna chase the water, and the fungus is gonna chase the water, and so you're gonna have that wonderful symbiotic relationship going on deep in the earth. So this is a very cool tree. So what, so what do you do with this tree? So you eat the inside of the seed pods of this tree, kind of like you would a tamarind. And I've never tasted the fruit of this tree, so I'm excited for it to fruit, and I'm sure it will this next spring. So this has been through one complete year. So it has gone through a winter, and by having it this close to the house, I did not lose this tree this winter. In fact, it didn't even defoliate. It stayed completely green. He still has some of the leaves from winter on this plant, okay? and. The only way it got saved is by being this close to the house because I lost two of these trees already out in the yard because I didn't plant them in the right spot. Well, I didn't know the placement on these plants at that time. So being out in the yard in the open, it gets too cold for them, they freeze. So you wanna keep this guy nice and tucked up. I mean, that's why I have all these guys out here. The guava, pink, the pink guava, because they freeze back to, uh, the Mamie, same thing. The pineapple guava, he can take it. It just so happened to fit in that spot. But anyway, back to this tree. So yeah, so you eat the seed pods of this tree and I'm very excited to try them. So um, I got this at Lowe's. I think he was around, I don't know, probably 24 bucks. That's about the usual price. And like I said, he's gotten really, really large in that short amount of time. So if you're interested in one of these, that is how you take care of this one. So guamachil, or however it is pronounced, if somebody can correct me. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching.